name is Kendra. How are you doing? Very well, Kendra. How can I help you? So I've been married for six years, and me and my husband just had our first baby girl about nine months ago. Congratulations. Aww. Thank you. So before we were married, he promised me we would have two kids, and now he doesn't want any more. My friends think I should trick him and stop taking my birth control. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, Wendy? I'm embarrassed to say this because I don't like spousal lying. However, men have never been in control of our bodies. We're the ones in control. I'm not going to suggest that you do that, but look into my eyes and tell me, <laughs> and tell me what I'm saying. Okay. He promised. Wait, let, can I just take a quick poll? Clap if you think that she should trick him. Yeah. My people. Up next, everybody. Today, more and more men are choosing not to go to school, not to get a job, and not to get married. If similar numbers of women were doing the same, someone would raise the alarm. But since men are the ones opting out, the problem has been mostly met with silence. Some books say that men are just a bunch of lazy, stoner frat boys who are acting immaturely. In reality, men are acting rationally and opting out of education, work, and marriage because in all of these areas, the penalties are high and the rewards are low. Each of these areas has its own problems and is important in its own right. But for now, we'll just look at why men are avoiding marriage and fatherhood. The first reason that men don't want to get married is that they'll lose respect. In the past, a man wasn't considered a true adult until he was married and had children. Today, however, husbands and fathers are the butts of jokes, and the media constantly portrays them as buffoons and bumbling idiots. The second reason is that they'll lose out on sex. Men who cohabitate with their partner but aren't married have much more sex than their wedded counterparts. Recent studies have also found that cohabitators are happier and more confident than married couples. The third reason that men don't want to get married is that they could lose their children and their money. Men are aware of the dangers of divorce, specifically that the courts tend to favor mothers. Men only get custody of their children 10% of the time and overwhelmingly are responsible for paying child support and alimony. The fourth reason is that men will lose their space. Once a man gets married, he's relegated to the dirtiest part of the house, the attic, the basement, the garage, the entire house is supposed to be a shared space, but the rise of the man cave means that the home is increasingly becoming the domain of only the wife and children. The fifth reason that men don't want to get married is that they can lose their freedom. If a man gets divorced and can't afford child support, he can get locked up. On any given day, there are almost 50,000 people in jail due to child support arrears, most of them male. For example, in Massachusetts, 96% of the people incarcerated for unpaid child support are men. The final reason that men don't want to get married is that the single life is better than ever. In the past, single men were looked at with suspicion, but this is no longer the case. There are plenty of 40-year-old bachelors. Employers look favorably at employees with non-conflicting family responsibilities. Dating has gotten easier, and premarital sex is no longer taboo. On top of this, there's more to entertain single men today than there was in the past, with video games, cable TV, and the internet providing diversions not previously available. To recap, men are opting out of marriage, in addition to education and work, at alarming rates. This isn't due to laziness, but due to rational choices where men no longer see the value of participating in these areas. People respond to incentives, so if we want more men to marry, it needs to be a more attractive proposition. And this one kind of funny, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So this girl wanted to put up, she said, how y'all be with people that don't do shit for you? Nigga don't get your nails, your hair, or your feet done. 
don't motivate you, don't feed you, finance you. She just sound like she just like want like money grabs, bro. Like she elites, like she don't care about nothing else except for getting her shit paid for. I can't fuck with no female like that. Nothing, just getting dick. That's crazy. And this girl said it ain't tricking if you got it. The men that get it get it. The ones that don't, well, they complain or the tweets like this. I never fuck with a man that didn't willingly and love to pay for anything I wanted that made me feel beautiful and happy. Never had no complaints. Man, shut your ass up, goofy ass nigga. And then dude was like, so technically a nigga can buy you for the right price. You might as well trap it yourself. <laughs> oh shit, bro. What y'all, what y'all, what y'all fucking with, man? What y'all, what y'all, what, what y'all thoughts, man? That shit is crazy. I, I, I can't. I don't know if I can fuck with no people like that. When a man is dating, he's paying attention to everything. You want to be pursued. You want a man to pour into your cup. You want a man to invest in you financially. You want him to invest his time into you, all of his resources, all of that stuff. But what are you investing into him? will win in the end. You will win. So just keep holding on to the right girl coming Nice along. guys always win. Cap, look, man. Nice guys finish last. That's the reason that's a quote. It's the truth. Look, I'm not saying don't be a nice individual, but don't be a nice guy. I'm saying if you got a good man, he does right by you. It's long term. Then I don't see there being a problem with you showing your man that you love and that you appreciate him. A hot meal is good. A clean house, even better. Some good sex, fantastic. But some consistent dome from your lady? You can't beat that. Ask any man sure some of you are looking at me like oh tiff's so nasty and oh she's not classy and why she gotta be shut up She got out the car at the stoplight, and she thought he was going to beg her to get back in. It's 2022. Men don't beg anymore. Okay, so don't approach a woman outside. Not in the gym, not in a store. So basically, no public place at all. So then where can we? A bar or a club? I don't go. Where can you meet a woman? Other men out there, I just want to take my time out to ask y'all. How's it going? How y'all doing? Y'all good? Not good? Horrible? Bad day? You know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever you feeling, just drop it down in the comments, man. And I'm going to try my best to reply to everybody. This is my way. I'll let y'all know that y'all could check in with me whenever y'all want. Because that's what I said before. This is what my platform is for. Not only is it my release, this is y'all releases as well. My platform is y'all release as well. So drop in with the check-in. How y'all brothers doing? I dumped my girlfriend after she told me about her sexual past in college. To make a long story short, we were playing a drinking game with some friends and she admitted to having at least two threesomes during college and sleeping with around 13 guys. To be honest, I never asked her about her past because I thought it was just whatever, but damn. Something about having that made me squirmish. I don't think I'll ever recover, honestly. I know some people are going to call me misogynistic or a slut shamer, but I could honestly care less. I knew I couldn't recover or move past what I heard. I broke up with her the next day, and I said I hope you find someone right for you. She obviously started crying, and she's still texting me, but I'm already mentally checked out. 
Is OP the a-hole or not? What do you guys think? Even though you held me down, I still don't trust you. Like, I trust you, but I don't. If somebody can come with way more money, somebody can... A Drake, if Drake say, if Drake seriously get on MTV tomorrow and say, man, I want this girl right here. I want her right now. Please, would you marry me? What you think Shorty gonna say? Damn, that's a crazy point. So you think Drake could fuck all our bitches? Man, let him, let, let him get on. You know that, what's that, when they get them awards? What's, what's that award show? <laughs> <laughs> if he get on, if he stands up there and say, I want you, whatever her name is. Man, that girl, man, that girl is gone, bro. Remember, gentlemen, she's never yours. It's just your turn. There's always going to be a man that has more money than you. There's always going to be a man that's taller than you. There's always going to be a man that looks better than you. It is what it is. I shoot, I miss it. Oh! Some women really think their life is a Hallmark movie, don't they? Hey babe, how did peach cobbler taste? It's all right. I had better at a school cafeteria. <laughs> Everything litty, I love when it's hot. Turn to the city, I broke out the nut. Got some more millies, I keep me a knot. I created history, it made me a lot. He tried to diss me and ain't no fox. We call him. Bitches fat, bitches white, bitches black, bitches quiet, bitches snitch, bitches all fuck with rap, bitches bougie, bitches ratchet, bitches. I would babe, but I'm so tired. Alright, good night, babe. I love you. Good night, babe. I love you too. So somebody asked for my opinion on this. In my opinion, your relationship's about to die. You're rejecting the person you decided to love and then you wonder why that they're gonna be a little bit more flirtatious with their female coworker, like women's pictures on Instagram or be watching videos that you don't want them watching. You're choosing to opt out of the physical and emotional connection and the intimacy that you would have with your partner. They want you and you're saying, no, nah, I don't want you though. And there's women that would kill for that shit, for their husband to look at them that way or want to connect with them in that way. They're going to fucking therapy for it. And you have that right now and you're fucking smashing it and you're wondering why the spark is about to die off in your relationship because you killed it. Most men just want to do as much adult shit as they have to do to have a great lifestyle. And then we want to fuck you all over the place all the time. Take trips, bend you over a fucking balcony in Vegas, fun shit like that. Always remember, the gym will never just wake up one day and tell you it doesn't love you anymore.
work out strictly for appearance-based reasons, you are fat phobic. Men are not meant to be dominant. Men are meant to be submissive. You so it's okay to be weak. I, 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 if we don't you shut your you fucking you mouth, mouth, I will kill you. Something that she'll get a lot of hate for if you say it out loud. Women who don't have their husbands or boyfriends in their bio or in their caption or not even a picture are hoes. I said what the fuck I said. Women who say, oh my god, I hate all men. If you haven't been abused, have had a real serious encounter with the man, and you're saying you hate men, but have brothers, good fathers, good men in your life. It makes no fucking sense. Make it make sense. You're going to have a son one day. It makes no goddamn sense. Y'all, the same girls who will literally be getting fucked by a dude, have a dude change your tire, have a dude change your oil, have a dude help you. Ma'am, how about you stop doing that? Because you hate men so fucking much. Live by that. Uh, women lie just as much as men. Probably ten times better. They just won't tell you that, but I will. Nine times out of ten, the women on here who call me a pick me, Baby, guess what? You're only calling me a pick me because I'm not standing with you guys on your fake shit and I'm actually calling you out and you don't like that because you're used to fake bitches in your life. You wish. Correction on the whole part, y'all bitches just don't like your man. That's why you don't post. Radio check. All right, I'm going to tell y'all boys what to do in this situation right here as the good guy, right? All right, so POV as the good guy. She ghosts me. For the toxic dude, right? Let him smash or whatever, right? Then she finally wants to come back to me. Now, I'm going to tell you what I do, right? I'm going to lead her on. I'm going to play her game. Because she think coming back to me, she think it's sweet. It's not sweet over here. So as the good guy, what you do is, you wait it out. And then once she finally gives you the box, you ghost her. And never talk to her again. Just lead your life. Simply because she thought it was sweet. I play to win. I'm a winner. I play to win. Available pool of men that are interested in a 50, 60 year old woman is a muddy puddle. The ones that are out on the market now are on the market for a reason. And the fact that they would really rather date a woman 20 years younger. Not that many guys that are smart enough and brave enough to date women their age. We have so many more demands because we know who we are. So I'm trying to find, cobble together, assemble a new me who won't give a f Why would a man work his whole life so he can buy a 1955 beat up Mercedes Benz with over 500,000 miles on it, that's had 10 previous owners, the, the rims are all messed up, the paint is rusting, well he can go buy a fresh, new 2022 Mercedes Benz off the lot with the 4G Auto rims, with over 400 plus horsepower, with nice interior leather seats, with no previous owners. Why? You see, you can't be mad at men for having standards because when you were in your 20s in your 30s right you had all the options in the world and now you're going to get mad at a man because now he has the options because he has the status he has the money he has everything that a woman likes can't be mad at it bro Sometimes the guys don't even approach me. They don't even. Let's okay, just be so real. Okay, so could you be with a guy that makes a hundred thousand a year? No. For that's what? That's that's, that's two hundred and seventy-four dollars a day. How the fuck? You right? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay. Okay. So dinner for two, mm -hmm. and if we add alcohol, it's going to be a three hundred dollar check. Do you want me to spend that whole man's day? Like no. So.
Normalize guys wearing nail polish, pop tops, honestly any clothes they want. Homies that's in the grave over women. Uh, you know, I got a million homies that's in jail over a female. Most most street beefs happen over a bitch. It don't even be over no money or nothing like that. A nigga be tender dick, all in his feelings, cause somebody didn't crack this girl or his girl didn't, didn't her mind didn't travel and she didn't suck some more dick somewhere else and now he wanna kill every nigga on the planet. That comes from simping. And simping is destroying the world and it's destroying the women. If they if they if they got real men around them, a lot of these women wouldn't walking around here held accountable like they God or some shit like that. It's it's kind of ridiculous nowadays. Now this goes throughout society, but especially true here on TikTok. If you ever notice when a woman speaks her mind, she gets all sorts of praise. She's strong, fierce, independent. You go, girl. But a guy, oh, when a guy speaks his mind, he's misogynistic, a bully, misguided. I could come up with 40 other names. If you think there's not a double standard, guess again. It's really kill all men until you can't open your pickle jar. I think it's ridiculous that women could say kill all men with a smile while every male content creator is on their third, fourth, and fifth account. Men, do your part. When you see toxic crap like this, report it. It's really kill all men until you can't open your pickle jar. I fucking opened it. Never mind. It's still kill all men. Yeah, sure. You can be my boyfriend. Oh, by the way, I have borderline personality disorder, abandonment and attachment issues, fear of social and romantic rejection, need constantly repeated validations to serve off my emptiness and insecurity. Oh, and I also suffer from monthly psychotic episodes weekly that cause me... He's gonna pay for it. I thought we were just friends. We are. Um, then you're paying. We don't do men, no, no. I get that vibe from you. <laughs> I don't think men do you <laughs> either. We're a generation of men raised by women. Often raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars. But we won't. You're not how much money you have in the bank. You're not the car you drive. You're not the contents of your wallet. Stop trying to control everything and just let go. Do you think men are important? Like for what? <laughs>